the basic parts and functionality of an air compressor. So an air compressor is basically an electric motor that turns a pump that pumps air into a holding tank that compresses it. Um, so starting with the electrical supply, you're getting 120 volts uh, from your house coming into this pressure switch. This is the, the hots and this is the neutral. So one of these hots is the hot from the house. The other hot is going to the motor. This is the neutral from the house, neutral from to the motor. Um, the pressure switch basically works on a diaphragm principle. It's connected to the pressure from the tank, from the air supply to the tank. And when the when the air when the pressure is up, the diaphragm gets pressed up and clicks clicks the contacts back and releases electrical supply. When the diaphragm goes down and calls needs needs the pump to kick on the contacts will close making contact between the hot and the hot and the neutral and the neutral these two springs basically control one controls when the pump turns on and the other one controls the pressure at when the pump turns off so these control basically the how the diaphragm operates um, so you're getting juice to your motor motor turns on it spins, it's fan cooled, and this is a direct drive air compressor. So the shaft of the motor is attached direct, directly to the crankshaft of the pump, which is attached to the piston. It just wor works just like a, a car engine, basically. Um, so the piston, when it goes down, it pulls air in from the air intake here through a one-way valve. And when it comes back up, it compresses it, goes through a one-way valve and comes out this discharge tube here. Comes over here, there's another one-way valve which only allows air into the tank and it doesn't allow it out. So by pushing all the air into the tank, it basically compresses it and holds it inside the pressure tank. Um, this little plastic line comes over to the pressure switch. So when... When the pump gets satisfied, the pressure switch turns off. It tur presses that little, there's a little pin down there, controlled by a spring. When that pin goes down, it releases pressure from the back end of the system. So it releases pressure off of here and out of the cylinder, and that makes the pump turn on easily the next startup. When there's no pressure in there, it's, it's easier for the piston to go up and down to start it up. So. We're getting pressurized air in the tank. There's a pressure gauge, of course. Air comes out of here through the coupler. And, of course, you got an air regulator that adjusts the air pressure on the line up and down. Um, you also have a tank valve at the bottom, which, when you're compressing air, it heats up and then cools, and that condenses and creates uh, water. So. You get a lot of water in the bottom of air compressor tanks and they need to be trained at, really after every use. Um, so I'll plug this in. So we're plugged in hot. Another safety device is this pressure relief valve on the bottom of the T here. When pressure builds up too much and say the pressure switch isn't working correctly, this will open up and release pressure. It's a safety device so the thing doesn't explode. So we'll just open that up and, and let you watch how the contacts open. You could see the contacts open back up and that little unloader get depressed and, and pssst, that's the release of air from the system. That's the basics of an air compressor.